Hi everybody, I just want to do a room review of Pure Look HD version 7. As you can see, I have flashed it version 7. I flashed it today. I've been I've been on it since version 6.1 or version 6. Um as you can see it's based on 4.1.2 and um Build number is XXEME2 and the baseband is uh, um, well, I don't, I'm not sure if that's really relevant, but anyway, uh, CWEWL1. So that's basically the system info. Bear in mind, this uh, ROM is um, compiled and um, put on XD, uh, XDA by um, KSR007. So if you do decide to flash it, then um, please do support him and uh, thank him um, <coughs> in the forum thread. The ROM is uh, rooted, zip aligned, and deodexed. It's got a couple of um, kernels to choose from in Aroma. I have flashed um, Googie kernel, but I'm sure you get Googie Max. Um, I think you get um, Borfla and one or two more. Um, so that's really nice, got your um, kernels, obviously kernels make a big difference, so whichever one you prefer you can choose. And obviously if he doesn't have it then you can flash it on top. He's got two themes as well in Aroma that you can choose from. Uh, my one I have chose the blue Xperia theme. It's basically a blue and black theme. As you can hear, so the settings are really nice. Um, you can see the what's it, notification tray is really good. Um, it's also, um, I'll just show you the dialer, the dialer is really nice as well, so that's um, that's good. Um, it's also got the Samsung Galaxy S um, volume hack to make it, um, the um, volume uh, more louder, so um, that's really nice. Um, <coughs> it's got Xperia Home, which is the launcher of Xperia, but I've got um, the advanced one. Um, I could I've done a review of it and I can put the link of it in the description and the forum thread. Really nice. It's basically got extra features like gestures, um, in home screen and um, uh, more stuff. Um, basically, just get a rough idea of how many options it's got. It's really nice. Um, some say it's just a bit laggy than the original Xperia Home, but I think it's usable. It's um, I don't really notice that much lag. Um, so if you're interested in that you can check it out in the description um, <clears throat> it's also got um, um, Xperia Z lock screen which is really nice um, I've done a um, review of that as well um, I could put the link in the description as you can see here um, this is the lock screen so from uh, if you pull from the music and if you pull from the left you can go straight to the camera so that's um, that's really nice Xperia Z, it's got um, pure um, pure X audio, which is uh, basically a mod that enhances sound. You won't really see any of the, an app called Pure X audio or anything like that in the app drawer, because um, it's actually a system file, so um, you know you won't really see it. And it works. Um, <coughs> it's also got um, Walkman, Walkman with Clear Audio working, Clear Audio Plus working. So it's here. Yeah. So that's really nice. I you can actually hear the sound. I really like um, Clear Audio Plus um, with the um, Pure X Audio um, combination because I think it's probably the best sound I've heard. So that's really nice. Um, it's also got the album application from the Xperia devices, which is basically just um, a gallery from the Xperia devices, as you can see here. You could just zoom in and zoom out. Um, so that's that's really cool. You know, just say you want to go into a picture, you could just zoom in, if you want to come out, you could just zoom out like that. So as you can see here, everything works totally fine. It's really nice and smooth. I'm not sure if the colours are really vivid because of the Bravi Engine too, but, um, or is it just like that? Either way, it looks really nice, the gallery. Um, it's also got the movies application, which is just a video play of the Xperia devices. I don't use it as much, but I mean it's nice to have. It's also got the Xperia Z boot animation, which I can't show you at the moment, but I do assure you does have it. It's also got a pop-up browser, 
which is really helpful and handy when you're just checking out links quickly like from Facebook or something which is resizable as well you could just resize it um, so just to show you that it does work f fully uh, just do a quick search yes yeah, so as you can see it works totally fine really good it comes in handy sometimes when you're on Facebook and you just don't want to leave the actual application you could just quick time search it on that and come back to Facebook it's got Bravia engine too it's got keyboard with swipe support so it's really good um, let's say for example I'm doing test So as you can see there it works fully fine, um, um, completely fine sorry, um, it's also got 4.2 camera which obviously the main thing of that was, is the sphere and the uh, good thing is that it doesn't replace the normal stock camera so you have to so you don't lose out on anything. So as you can see here, I'm not going to show you the whole thing but it does work, <coughs> sorry about that. Um, it's also got um, no auto converting from uh, messages to MMS and unlimited contacts to SMS to M MMS so that's really nice it's also got um, CRT off effect which is basically you know how the old TVs used to turn off um, and I'll just show you uh, bear, that's basically bear in mind you do need to have a, a supported kernel because um, I think stock kernel doesn't support it um, unless you've got Wi-Fi turned on something like that so I'm sure pretty much all the kernels, all the um, custom kernels do support it. You could also skip um, tracks with um, volume button, which I won't show you at the moment, but I show you that it does work. But I think you do have to set it in JK app. I've got the fully paid one, so uh, I've just set it in the JK app. It's also got a really nice sliding animation. I don't know if I've, if I've noticed it. In. Okay, uh, not in this version, but I think on version six, um, it had this sliding animation, which was really nice which was really nice when you used to open applications and stuff you used to um, basically have this sliding animation where you used to come from the right or left or from the top so that was really nice um, it's also got JK framework uh, built in which I told you but I'll just go through the app just give you a rough idea of what kind of options and stuff you can choose well this is probably one of the best apps I've got I uh, don't know why I have paid for it but uh, maybe that's I'm not sure probably because I haven't done a full wipe or something I'll also have to sort that out later um, but nevertheless you can um, choose six different um, lock screens all sorts of um, settings status bar I have um, changed my status bar through this application um, as you can see here my status bar is um, different um, it's also got like options like when you connect your headphone you can open application automatically and have it to kill the application straight away so I've got it set to a Walkman so that's really useful it's also got an uh, option to put the toggles on the top or bottom I've chosen top but you can have it at the bottom as well I understand that could be convenient so you don't have to reach at the top so that's really good um, to change um, wallpaper um, as far as I know you do have to go to uh, applica this application um, you just select that and you know select the wallpaper that you want doing it the usual way from gallery won't work um, I think that's just partly because of the XPRZ um, lock screen, I'm not sure exactly why but either way it's no big deal um, really nice uh, lock screen it's also got an um, application called X4 player which I'll just show you here which basically allows you to play four um, videos at once with a, with a sound for one, whichever you, you click on after the old plane you'll play the sound of, of the one you click on so that's really good um, overall uh, the ROM is really fast, stable, smooth, I haven't experienced any lags you might see some in the video bear in mind because um, I'm probably because of the video you can't just keep up the frames per second but um, personally I haven't experienced any lag I might just try a different kernel just to see which one gives me the best battery life but um, either way this ROM has been really good um, just a little uh, tip some people don't know this or you know if you don't know this then you know now you do when you've got the notification down and you click down again you get the quick settings um, even me I didn't know about this for quite a long time and then I found out about this so um, just to I'll let you guys know just in case you don't um, all things mentioned all the um, Xperia Z lock screen the launcher and stuff um, I'll put the link in the description and um, 
please do read the forum thread uh, for any installation guide or any additional information. Um, thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.